Hello, I'm Isaiah. Welcome back to Princess X. I just came back from work, and I actually got back from work a lot earlier than what I than when I usually do. It's uh, just after Ramadan, so you actually don't really have a lot of work, considering that a lot of the shops here are still closed. Well, I hope you guys don't hear that. The thing about making my shotgun mic a bit further away from my voice is that I have to adjust the gain so that, you know, because it's away from my mouth way more than how it was usually, I have to up the gain. And when you up the gain, it actually causes noise, dis noise distortion because it's picking up, um, picking up noises that are far away from it, right? And that means that when there's like birds out from my windows or when there's like a motorcycle like rooming past, it might have, it might actually get picked up by the mic a lot more than how it was previously. It's, it's like uh, pros and cons though. The nice thing about having the mic away from me, like I said, is that I can eat something in front of my face. So usually when I have the mic in front of me, it's really difficult for me to just do anything, even with my keyboard, right? So, this is just a much nicer for me as a creator. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys um, aren't too bothered by it. I did hear the microphone or the recording from the last episode, just to see if whether or not it was weird or not. But, I don't think you guys can actually even hear the echo. Maybe it's just my sensitive ears. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm using an audio interface and I also hear myself on my headphones. Maybe it's a lot more pronounced on my actual lossless audio, but you guys can't hear it when it's post-processed by OBS anyway. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about the last episode recap, shall we? So in the last episode, we did two routes one joke ending, which is called the Harem World, and I actually thought that ending was pretty good for what this game is. Before I forget though, let me actually load the game so that we don't get into the opening because I just played too long. <laughs> but yeah, the Harem World ending, I actually got used to just how ridiculous this game got. So I'm like, yeah, you guys can throw whatever you want at me. You can throw eight scenes, you can throw ridiculous claims, I'm okay with it. And after I didn't take the game seriously, it was much more enjoyable. But then we got into our second route ending, where we load from the fight with Proxy and Nadja in her current world, or her her other world, which is Demiurgis. It turned into a super serious ending, and I'm like, what the fuck? If that ending happened before Shinichi and Naja were in love, I think it would make a lot more sense. But Shinichi did that 180, and I don't know, I just felt that it was impossible for Shinichi to be able to do that. We don't know anything about Shinichi though, other than the fact that He's supposedly being left alone when he was a kid. And when the hell did, did Yuki even get born, if that's the case, right? If what happened in the Harem World happened, or Harem World N happened when Shinichi was saying that, or Yuki was saying that uh, Shinichi was alone back in the day, and then after Saki and Yuki came, he was not as lonely anymore. Why didn't the dad come back? There's so many questions, and I don't know whether or not that's gonna be answered. Considering this game is not very serious, and sometimes it's just deuce ex machina the whole situation, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of loose ends. But alright, enough about that. Let's actually do what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna go get this ending called To The Future this episode, and maybe we're gonna get something else. So what we need to do here is load, I believe, this save file. So this is the save file after Proxy gave us um, the, the, the Hand of God, I think? 
Yeah, I believe this is when Proxy gave us the, the hand of God. Or maybe this is before that. This could be before that. So this is before the confrontation, I think. Before we actually had sex in front of Proxy. So we're supposed to not tell Proxy... Or not tell Naja about Proxy. We didn't talk about anything much. It seemed there was... It seems like she was wondering where you were. There we go. I lie. Worrying Naja with this now won't help. Oh. After what happened on the last route, I feel... Um... I feel like when I see the word lie, it's giving me a bad feeling. It's safer if she doesn't worry about it. No, it didn't seem like it. Okay. By the way, where did you go today? Can I skip this? This feels the same. No, okay, I can't. Huh? Wedding preparations? No. Things are de developing so fast. I don't know if I can keep up. Holy fucking shit. Just as soon as I say that last sentence, I'm gonna cut that for both people on YouTube and on Patreon. The game basically skipped everything because everything was the same. It was just that scene alone that was different. So here I'm also supposed to fight Proxy, but because we didn't tell her about Proxy, this actually will give us something different, probably. According to, gu to the guide, anyway. There we go. I picked up the morning star Naja dropped. It's heavy. Hard to believe Naja was swinging something so heavy around. <laughs> the person you're trying to kill is my wife. Of course I have to stop you. Who says I can't win? I will! I lift the morning star, but try as I might, I can't get it past my hips. It seems the same. Can I skip again? So far it's the same, but the fact that I the game isn't skipping means that this is a new scene. Ugh. Maybe, but I don't have a choice. That's right. Even if it's a lost cause, even if it's pointless, I have to try to solve the situation with my own power. I throw the Morning Star aside. I don't know. My body is moving on its own. As if subconsciously, I know exactly what to do. So far it seems the same. Like solving a problem with the answer book open beside me. The hidden power within him. A terrible power. That power is about to awaken. Can I skip this? No, I still can't skip it, so this is new. Oh, sorry about that. I can. My heart is throbbing. I'm not gonna voice act this, okay? This is still the same so far. Naja, 
Yeah, this is the same. Can I really still not skip this? I'm actually gonna do something very sacrilegious. I'm actually gonna go skip the scene, the voices on the scene until we actually find new dialogue. いかにもしかも。おお。新一は雑。まさか。じゃあ、役か。え。ああ。自分に。今までこの力を持って。ミクリアナ。いい。それ。バカで。この程度で闇の魔力。闇の。え。こんな風に。Wait, wait, wait, wait. Was that new? A share of dark magic. I think this is new. Something seems to sparkle. It's bright. So bright. I have worried my eyes can't take it. The evil eye. A flash of magical golden light. The same as Nodges. Ah, the power is overflowing. It's in my body, filling me. How wonderful. <laughs> あの人間衆がどう使いこなすのか楽しみです。バカな。本当に魔力まで与えて、あなたはこのデミウルゴスを滅ぼすつもりか。石の力、心の力を内側しろにするような魔神をこの地に呼び寄せた。だから私は。The power is running wild within me. There's no reason not to use it. Oh, she's alive. So stubborn. Wait, is this all the same? I don't know. Wait, no, this is different, right? Can't be helped. I raised my fist in response and hit her. I don't think we did this before. I drive my fist straight into her chest. With her armor on, I don't expect it to hurt her that much, but 
<laughs> but her existing belly wound, it seems it was enough. What's this? How weak. What happened to the Lance of God? <laughs> Even with all four of her knees shaking violently, Proxy makes a grab for me, but... Give it up, Proxy. No, this is still the same, isn't it? I don't know whether or not this is the same. It, it feels like it's slightly different. I don't think we got the, the like, uh, magic of darkness before. And I don't think we actually, like, punched her. Not that I remember. Looks like I got pretty strong. This I could get used to. I think this is new. <sighs> the thing seating inside me slowly begins to cool. Oh. Nadja. Good. You're alive. Okay, I don't know whether or not this is new, so I'm just gonna keep not voice acting for a bit. あなたの花子のデミュー。え、それ、そんな受け入れなさいな。お待ちください。<笑><笑> I think this is where it's actually going to be different. I don't think there was actually a, an 8th chapter on the last route that we did. What? Huh? Okay, now this is probably different. What was I doing? Why is Proxy on the floor and... Huh? I realize that the situation has changed dramatically. Right. I challenge Proxy to a fight to protect Nadja. But I can't remember. What exactly happened? Shinichi. One look at Nadja's face tells me I've done something awful. But I can't remember what it was. Nadja, what did I do? No. That's not a lie. Huh? I did. I look. My arm is covered in blood. I'm bleeding some myself, but it looks more like I was hitting someone else. And the person bleeding the most here is Proxy. But what? What's happening? Now I panic. What on earth is happening to me? Nadja's mother calls out to us. I don't know why this actually... <laughs> why, why that one choice actually affects this whole scenario. It's so weird. I guess the fact that we actually still have underlying feelings for a proxy. And in the last route, I actually didn't. I don't know. But what happened? Nadius, <laughs> 
か。わからないのですか。Her voice is very cold. Even Nadja falls silent at the sound of it. わかりました。よろしい。事態収拾には新一さんの力を借りなくてはいけません。しばらく我慢なさい。はい。Nadja steps aside. She doesn't look happy about it. But I feel that her mother's decision is correct. Still, did I really cause Proxy's current state? I. I don't get what's going on! ごめんなさいね、新一さん。ナーディウスに心配をかけたくなかったのです。Yes, I understand. It's your only daughter's wedding, after all. You need to treat it with delicacy. So, I know this. So, I know this. So, I know this. So, I know this. Oh, we do? Coco de Daisina Noa. Anatanga catalog no seki shu, chitao shita, to you koto des. Yes. Imperial soldiers are in the process of arresting proxy. Seki shi prokishima ga kate ni atta koto des. Bakari maska? Huh? But. Katte ni atta koto des. She means that to have it portrayed otherwise would present a problem. I understand that much. Of course, Nadja and Proxy did fight by mutual agreement. However, it was provoked by the Head Inquisitor, who brought Proxy here, and Nadja's mother, who let them in. And Proxy is being made to take the fall. That's called politics. So, then. Well, that is true. Can't deny that. So, Proxy is supposed to have struck the first blow. Proxy was foolish enough to imagine that she could give us the Eye of God and escape with a little punishment. However, Nadja and I were equally thoughtless. Maybe we were too caught up in our friendship to see reality. So, then, Shinichi san no karada mo shinpai desu. That's right. My body is. あなたに眠っていた力が目覚めた。そう考えていただいて構いません。Uh, she was supposed to say a second sentence there. I think she said everything else doesn't matter. But what's happening to me? Shinichi さんは日本世界の人間種ですね。Yes. この私たちゴルゴネイオンの民や。カタログや南方諸国とはまた違った力が人間種にはあるのです。Um, by humans, you mean the people of my world, right? そうです。この世界デミウルゴスにはあなたたち親子を除いて人間種はいません。What about my mom? Right. Where the fuck is my mom? Shinichi clearly stated that she's still alive. あなた方人間種は。この世界の常識から逸脱しています。そして、それは大変な力を持っているのです。I feel like they're gonna have something with the mom later down the line, or maybe she's just a drop plot line. I don't know. But she, he clearly stated that mom is still alive, right? If he's not with dad, why the fuck is my mom not with me? Great power. はい。And what might that be? 嘘です。Huh? You're lying to me? Ye, so you emi de warimase. Ningua Uso tsukno des. Shikamo, Jibun nimo Uso tsukimas. But I stachino kanka de yeba ariena i koto des. True, I've told my share of lies. I've probably even lied to Nadja. I mean, I think it's actually human nature to, to lie. If you pay attention to kids, they lie naturally if they want to hide something that their parents clearly know that they're gonna. You know, if they get scolded by something that they did, of course, kids would naturally lie. Especially if the like, punishment is a bit too severe, right? It's kind of like self preservation, really. But it's really difficult to teach someone to be, to be honest every single time. It's okay to do white lies, but like those white lies can also stack up, right? And it can also make you into a habitual liar or, in fact, a chronic liar. Yeah, いいのです
新一さんの世界ではそれで問題ありませんですがこちらの世界では問題です嘘はよくない誰もがそう思っています私たちは正直さと誠実さを当たり前のものとしています。I don't know. I feel like that's actually how people are supposed to live. Lying only complicates matters, especially lying to yourself. It's very difficult for you to actually find your, your own sense of self once you lie to yourself like too many times. Because that lie is going to become yourself at some point, right? 私が驚いたのはその嘘というのが全てに使われているからです私たちの世界で嘘を使う者は罪を背負い奴隷に落とされます Really? That gives me a nasty idea So if you told a lie saying that someone else had, had lied You could make anyone into a slave This actually happened in like one of the eight scenes when Shinichi was fucking.、Uh, I think it was when he was fucking proxy. This is on the last ending, by the way. So people on YouTube don't know, but people on Patreon h a s already seen it. It was a very <laughs> fucked up eight scene with proxy, too. It's actually like, what the fuck was I seeing? I couldn't say much about the eight scene because it was like a two, two split eight scene, one with proxy. And then after that was an instant H scene with Naja and her mom. But yeah, those H scenes are actually pretty fucked up. But Shinichi was saying about how he could lie, and the fact that when he's. So he's leading this band of. Like, you know, just like in Rance 9, he's, he's leading like a reconnaissance army. So not like a very big army, right? But he's able to manipulate. Like, uh. How he used that army by, say, changing how they would they would do the order of attack and surrender. And that would manipulate how the enemy would perceive them, right? Ah, that's just because you guys are dumb then. Not because you can't lie, you guys are dumb. Keshte, Ima no hasso, Hitoni, or Hanaste, or Narimasen, yo. Okay. So in this world, even a simple lie is a fearsome thing, and a hateful one. But I still haven't heard anything about whatever power I used to kick the crap out of Proxy. What does that have to do with the power that defeated Proxy? Anata no mi o mamoru tame, Watashi ga chikara o wake atae masta. ね、Is that so? Naja's mother smiles sweetly. It's an innocent smile, and yet I find it frightening. So you go to that. Proxy speaks, straining against her chains. Shinichi, go to the world, and get out of the world. So you're going to be able to do it. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. So it was her. I did say that when Proxy got that eye of God, right? Who the hell could, could have had the same eyes as when we saw Naja or her mom? The whip that catches Proxy full in the face seems to come out of nowhere. But wait! Proxy! Peace! Negotiations? Really? 
異端審問長官ベテルギウスと立てていたのですああ、ah. I don't know what to say She might not be lying But I sense that she's twisting the truth Then You didn't tell me to stay just to explain what happened to me それは異端審問長官ベテルギウスに説明させましょうえああはいまあ簡単に申しますと両国の和解には厳しい罰が必要です特に聖騎士プロキシマにはおやおや何か誤神通の様子なるほどなるほどプロキシマはあなたのご友人でもありましたか Keep talking はいプロキシマには罰を与えます与える相手はあなたでなくてはいけない我が国としては不本意ですが気品として呼ばれたのに暴力を振るったそれは我が国の落ち度です Yeah, I'm not agreeing with him. After all, guests don't usually show up in chains. But the people of this world don't lie. And so, however unnatural the head inquisitor's words, I can do nothing but acquiesce. Acquiesce. Is that how you say that? It's like acknowledge, right? Waga kuni no seiki shi o teikok no muko to natta isekai no junin ga sabaku. それを皆に知らしめることで和平はなるわけです。Okay, this kind of explains what happened on the last route where it skips to the e i g h t scene, but I wonder why specifically this didn't happen. I guess in that last route, Shinichi was just overcome with the power that he doesn't retain his, his,、uh, his normal self like this. So it wouldn't happen anyway. It would have made a lot more sense for us to have a choice though. Right? Rather than not knowing at all what happened, like what happened here. Because the last route made me feel like, what the fuck just happened? And if I refuse. So, no, you are can't do this. Go to the head, she's a little bit of 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 a little bit 不敬により死罪です。我が国に引き渡してもらえれば、最も苦痛な手段で罰していくのですが。Wait, I'll do it. But I need you to promise me something. Promise me you won't kill her. 真一様が罰してくだされば、殺すなんて野蛮なことはいたしません。ただ、罰は大変長く。プロキシマが我慢できず、自死する可能性はありましょう。No, I don't think that's a concern. She's the last of the noble holy knights. そうですか。ならば、安心して罰を与えられることでしょう。では、新一様。私と陛下で、プロキシマへの罰を散弾します。新一様は、公女様のもとへ。ご心配でしょうがこれから私たちカタログとゴルゴネイオン帝国は平和へ向かいますゆえ Understood I'll believe what you've told me here I return to the royal palace We're not just waiting どう思うか心底驚きましたしかしプロキシマと通じているならおそらく心の乱れは大きくなりましょうその結果が陛下の望むものかどうかは結構ではそのまま手はずを進めてくれえああはい仰せのままにベルギス leaves the throne room with a worried look upon his face he can't shake the feeling that this human will cause some calamity <laughs> 新一さんが味方についたおかげでずいぶんと楽にことが進みそうですわね<笑> Where the fuck is our dad? 
本当にするのか、シンイチ。If I don't, they'll kill Proxy. 要は、参加したくない。見たくもないのだ。It's on your mother's orders. 拒否したい。You should come up with a plan to save Proxy, Naja. But to do that, we need to go along with this. シンイチがそこまで言うなら。Thank you, Naja. We're off to witness Proxy's Inquisition. It's my duty to participate. If punishing Proxy will save her, then that's what I'll do. Patreon.com says that he was gay. This is looking like what just happened on the last route. The the eight scene with Proxy anywhere because she's like、uh, being held by chains and yeah I guess we'll see. When we arrive, Proxy is already strung up. It seems the interrogation has begun. I can probably censor this if this is not an actual eight scene though. You guys can probably just see a tiny bit of the text there and just that. Oh, Shinichi-sama, Naja-sama. ようこそおいでくださいましたシンイチナージャプロクシー Are you okay? 貴様に同情される覚えはないプロクシーこの恥知らずめシンイチ様とナージャ様のお慈悲がなければ貴様はとっくに死だいぞ No, it's okay I want to save プロクシー Even if she herself should refuse Naja feels the same, so we need to participate. <laughs> Naja stands a short distance away, a pained expression on her face. The torment has begun. The head inquisitor produces a suspicious looking medicine. The head inquisitor smiled cheerfully as he smears the salve over Proxy's privates. Immediately, her crotch begins to redden. Her lower body might be covered in hair, but the influx of blood is enough to be visible anyway. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is gonna become way too sexual in just a couple of seconds, so this is probably where I'm gonna cut it for you guys on YouTube. All right, we are back, YouTube. So I was actually into voice acting that whole scene before Shinichi started doing what he did to <laughs> Proxy. After Shinichi took over the H scene, it was literally just the same H scene where, you know, they were like lovey dovey, but the music's evil and she's being watched by battle geese. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but. I personally don't really think that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just have a weird, violent, <laughs> like kink when it comes to H scenes. I don't think I do. I like H scenes with rants, even if they're vanilla. I don't know why I don't really like it when the H scenes are like this. I guess I don't like it when the H scene starts out as evil or when the girls are actually very unlikely to want to get get to you. Right, and then they slowly like、uh, like you because of the torture that you did. I guess that's not really my kind of thing. 
even though that's actually not the case here, like they were torturing Proxy with Battle Geese and we switched out with with Shinichi. I don't know. I guess I just don't like Shinichi as a character. He's just too too much of a pussy, I guess. That might be why. I feel like at the at the beginning of the H scene, I was like someone that's being cucked because even Shinichi said so in the H scene. He was jealous that Battle Geese was touching like proxy and stuff. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I I don't really care too much about the fact that we're being cucked. I don't feel jealousy. But enough about the H scene, I guess. Let's continue with the story. I'm not gonna dwell on it too much longer. The black thing inside of me is receding. I leave the interrogation chamber on unsteady feet, and outside, I find Naja waiting. Sweet. Naja, you didn't go back to the palace? She's fine. Huh? That's... She wanted it, okay? She actually wanted it. Not even halfway through, maybe like one-tenth of the way through and she was like, Yeah, keep touching me. I want more foreplay. Fuck! I, I, <laughs> the 18 in this game is probably one of the annoying things that I have to point out. They can be hot, I guess, for people that like Monster Girls, but it's always about the nuances, right? When it comes to H scenes, it's not just that the CG is good. I want the context to also be good. Yeah, I did. Because that was the promise between your mother and Proxy's country. Maybe it is, but this is the only way to save Proxy now. Not just seems sad, but this was unavoidable. Proxy had to be saved. The war had to be stopped. This was the only way to make that happen. I can't sleep. I'm too excited to sleep. I tormented Proxy. I only did it because it was my duty, but I feel a strange sensation boiling within me. Naji is already asleep. I want to release a sensation somehow. I know this feeling. It's desire. Awoken within me by the by my abuse of proxy. Naja. <laughs> Naja is asleep. I stop myself from calling out again. What am I thinking? Why does thinking of humiliating proxy make me want to have sex with Naja? I'm the worst. Gotta blame the H scene author Shinichi. They just gotta make scenarios where you just wanna keep fucking. <laughs> but something within me affirms that thought. Not just my wife. What's wrong with having her comfort me? But I manage to resist the urge. I can't disturb Naja's sleep. I stroke her hair softly and step outside. I wanna feel the nighttime win, and I want to correct my crazed thoughts, if only a little. My stroll through the silent palace eventually leads me to the throne room. This is the place where Naja's mother holds audiences with her subjects. I take a step forward and hear a voice from the re direction of the throne. Huh? What? Oh. Naja's mother. Why does she sound distorted? It's strange. I can hear her voice, but I don't see Naja's mother anywhere. There's a large black shadow in the darkness. I recognize the silhouette. Naja's mother's true form, which I've seen before. Huh? Um, it was just a little hard to sleep. I answer honestly to control my fear. I want to ask her where the water fountain is, but as I consider whether that's an appropriate question to ask an empress, she speaks again. Nanika. Hmm. Huh? Her voice is cold. Not just mother is usually gentle and polite, or rather a courteous in the extreme. But this is different. 
Unconsciously, I stiffen. But what do you mean? Her voice is the same as ever. It's only that the warmth of her words seems to have fallen below zero. At the same time, my internal danger sensor starts blaring a warning. I have to answer her. Her cold tone and her gentle one are alternating for some reason. Maybe she took my silence for caution because she continues. The King's Transformation I didn't understand what that means, but I feel an uneasiness growing in my chest. Doesn't that mean that I can't lie anymore then? I don't understand what you're saying. I'll become a demon? なら I have no idea what you mean. Why couldn't we, like, fuck you instead? In the other route, we were fucking you too, you know? I'm me. I'm not my father. Finally a point I can argue. Why should I be my father's substitute? Why? No, I won't. I'm myself, so... Certainty. That's all I can feel from Naja's mother. I don't understand and don't want to, and wouldn't accept it even if I did. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I leave quickly. I don't want to linger there for another second. The dragon's laughter echoes in the darkness. I finally locate a water fountain. I plunge my head into the water to cool it. Then I gulp it down, pulling myself inside. I still don't really understand what I heard, because I can't look objectively at the changes occurring inside myself. But something is happening. That's what Naja's mother wants, and I think some part of me wants it too. If that's really the case... Not laughing, Shinichi. No way. The thought, the thought is disgusting and frightening, and I can't stop shaking. I'd better get back to sleep. Put this nightmare behind me. I must be dreaming right now. I return to Dodge's room and cover my head with the sheets. Best to forget the scary things. Best to pass the night in quiet. I feel like Shinichi's regre regressing to his old self when we first started the game. When he doesn't want to believe that, you know... When stuff that 
that is not to his reality. He just runs away and escape from it. When I come to myself, I'm back here again. I don't understand why. I wake up, I eat, I speak with Naja, and then... Yeah, she isn't coming. The head inquisitor looks me over with a grin. It's true, Naja isn't coming. She told me off for tormenting Proxy. No, she didn't tell me off. She understands my position, but it's hard for her to endure. It's painful not to have Naja at my side. Without my lover beside me for support, how am I supposed to get through this difficult time? Ah, <sighs> this is what I feel like when someone gets a lover. I feel like... I don't know though. Maybe I'm being like harsh on people when they do this. Like, when my... Yeah, I guess I was being harsh. When my dad lost my mom, well, he rebounded pretty quickly and found a new wife very fast. So I, I actually hate... This is probably the reason why I hate relationships in general, I guess. <laughs> His reasoning was that he needed someone for support. And I'm like, dude, when you were alive, when you were just born, when you were like living alone, before you got married, didn't you have no one for support except for your parents? And even then, they don't support you 24-7, right? Are you that weak that you need someone for support once that support is gone? This is something that I've implanted into myself very early in my childhood. This is probably also the reason why I can't really connect emotionally with a lot of people. Because if I feel like I'm attached to people a lot more than I need to be, I start distancing myself from them. Just so that I don't have that emotional support that I will get attached to. But I also feel like it makes me a lot stronger as an individual. Not saying that I'm strong, right? But a, a, a bit stronger than most people that would normally just try to ask for help without doing anything themselves first to their utmost. Right. That. I rack my brains. See? This is what I'm talking about. This game actually makes me talk about some sensitive stuff that you normally don't don't hear me say, right? So this game's issues is something very nice. The issues that they brought is something very real, in my opinion. But I dislike how they resolve the issues. But I guess we'll see, like I said, maybe the true ending will be very, very good. Maybe this ending will be very good. I don't know. There's a lot of discrepancies that I feel like is just a plot hole though, so far. I rack my brains. I want to avoid embarrassing Proxy as much as possible. Huh? You want me to do it in front of everybody too? The successor. Honor. To be honest, I don't really care about honor, but that's my world's way of thinking. It might be very important in this world. Hi. I think honor is also important in some part of um, some part of the world or maybe depends on what your job is too. Like I believe the military definitely feels like they consider honor as a high priority in their in their values. Got it. I'll go along with this then. Huh? 
Her outfit. Hi. Fine. It won't be easy, but I have to do it. I need to do my best for Naja after all. Hmm. These are the choices? Hi. This is a puzzler. There's something that looks like a party dress, a chick night dress, and a cute little tutu like thing. Would these be embarrassing for her? I can't imagine how. So I choose the most harmless looking one. This dress. A cute frilly pink dress. I figured that Proxy probably won't be ashamed to wear it. Oh. Oh. Huh? Um, was it a bad choice? Yeah, yeah. No, he was definitely shocked. Obviously, this dress is the most extreme of all of them. Sh should we change it? It might, um, the skirt might get in the way and... Yeah, yeah. He's insistent. Sorry, Proxy. Maybe I should have studied a little more about Demiurgus. I mean, this is probably something that you would wear on a date. But we're actually going to be making her, like, do this in public. The roadside is overflowing with people. All of them are looking at Proxy. Proxy desperately keeps her gaze forward as she walks, but she keeps closing her eyes, trying to hold back the shame. I see, so that's the implication here. なんでもあれ、ナディウス殿下のフィアンセが選んだものらしいぜ。もう恐ろしい。こんなのあっさり選べるなんて。向こうの世界の住人は恐ろしいな。向こうの世界ではそれが当たり前だって噂だ。躊
奴、ジンバだってのに、下履きを履いてるぞ。信じられん。ジンバが下履きなど。I, me too, I can't believe this what I'm seeing myself, Imperial Man too. 頭がおかしいんじゃないか聖騎士殿よこの、言わせておけば黙りなさい、プロキシマ。あなたに文句を言う筋合いはないはずですよ。Proxy flushes with shame. Apparently, a centaur wearing panties falls among the deeper rungs of perver perversion. The eyes of the onlookers are glittering with hot curiosity. It must be quite the scene. Kono kawaii ra shi s h i t a g i mo. シンイチ様が選んだものですよなるほどどうりでお前と違って手厳しいはっはあ随分と嘘吹きますな向こうの世界に行って嘘を学んだわけですかななめるなペテルギウス私は修道院から聖騎士になったのだぞどのような地軸であっても平気なのだではこうしてやりましょうか。The head inquisitor takes Proxy's weapon, then he pokes the shaft against Arenas. There are panties, of course. <laughs> Man, I don't even know whether or not YouTube is going to consider this sexual, to be honest. <laughs> It's just so out there, I don't even know what to classify this as. But I'm just going to. Probably censor it once we get the CG of her panty showing. But until she screams and moans too much, I probably can still show it to you guys. Do this, I o n o y a r i the kids no no, hojira renoa. Jibun no buki, kids no no, hojira de so. Korea, kotair da ro. Ah, so toni kitsi to moze. No, you just lose more than your shit. Your fucking ass would be split in half, you idiot. The babbling townsfolk seem to find the head inquisitor's punishment harsh. But to me, Proxy seems to be sexually aroused and not damaged in the least. This is what I'm doing. I'm not Do these guys suck at sexual torture too? Wait, I'll. I'll do it. The words come naturally from my mouth. Huh? Why did I say that? Ah, right. I need to end Proxy's humiliation quickly. But why did I choose this moment? Proxy doesn't seem to be suffering too badly yet. I don't know. But I did say it, so now I have to do it. You probably have a violent streak inside of you, Shinichi, or a violent impulse. But this time, we can probably like,、uh, pinpoint the cause to be that、um, Emperor transformation thing. Before, I don't know why the fuck you actually become like a ridiculously cold blooded human. Shikoshi. It's fine. Switch with me. そうですか。ではお任せします。シニチ。I'll get this over with right away. いや。Patreon.com shows Zaki Osuke. No more, no more of this scene for you guys on YouTube, I suppose. Once she starts moaning, that's it. Oops, sorry about that. But we are back, YouTube. So, throughout that whole H scene, I was listening to it, but I'm not gonna lie, for the most part, I was actually browsing through my marketplace to find some toothpaste. <laughs> but I still know what the hell is happening in that scene, okay? So, after Shinichi switched over from Battle Geese, he had anal sex again, right? And the people of Demiurgus actually thought it was very frightening what he did. Right. So, the thought of exhibitionism or outdoor sex to the people of Demiurgus is actually frightening. While Shinichi thought to himself that, yeah, 
outdoor sex, even in our world, is pretty damn weird too, but these guys felt that it was very weird in a different sense, that they even couldn't bear to watch it, so a lot of the onlookers left, except for Battle Geese. So yeah, that was the whole scene in a nutshell. But let's actually talk about the last, uh, or not talk about the last, uh, voice act that last uh, narration there. The King's Transformation. What part of me is supposed to have changed? I just got absorbed in the sex and went overboard a little. But I do feel that I tormented Proxy more than I intended. Does that mean the King's Transformation is making more making me more immersed in sex? Of course, it's true that one duty of a king is to have many children. Uh, maybe back then, Shinichi. Nowadays, I don't think people, or I don't think kings even have a lot of concubines, right? But you can't exactly make children with anal sex. I think I'm completely normal. The head inquisitor looks comical to me as he bows and scrapes. For now, let's head back to the palace. Make arrangements to transport Proxy. Hi, Tadaima. But is it really okay? Ignoring my sex rampage like that. Still, I only did what I was told was necessary. Was that wrong? Duh. After that, a few days pass. I make daily trips to the interrogation chamber to torment Proxy. It's my duty, so I carry it out dutifully, day after day. I learned a lot. Demiurgus is fundamentally chauvinistic, but it's also merit-based, and women who are stronger than men are accepted. Maybe that's why femininity is viewed as an embarrassing trait. That's why Proxy's dress astonished everyone who saw it. I think she held up well. According to the Head Inquisitor, that's the kind of clothing worn by the lowest sort of prostitute. Even though it's completely ordinary women's clothing back in Japan. Does that mean that Proxy had a hard time even coming to school? Strangely, despite being ruled by a woman, the Gorgonian Empire is apparently one of the most chauvinistic. That likely made Proxy even more ashamed. I can hardly believe it. The taboo even extends to food. Everyone likes sweet things, but eating them in public is taboo. I think that's what happened with Nadja when we first had a date with her. She... She said she didn't want to eat it in public or something when we got that parfait. Apparently, it's a very shameful thing to do. To do. Yeah, yeah. Shinichi-sama-no-o-kangai-ni-yotte-umi-da-sare-ru-seme-wa. Nah, I'm not doing much. I feel like I'm still going easy. But everyone we pass looks at me with fear. Maybe I'm, a, I'm overdoing it after all. I have to keep tormenting Proxy until Naja's mother is satisfied. Uh, would you really say that after what they did when you wanted to have the fight to the death with Proxy in Chapter 7? Oh, Nadja glares after him until he vanishes. When her eyes come back to me, her expression is terribly pained. What do you mean? I'm fine. I'm just doing my job. No, I have to save Proxy. I need to keep going until your mother admits she's had enough. 
That's right. Ceasing her humiliation will be the same as signing her de death warrant. But... Uh, that's because he's liking this, Naja. Are you guys retarded? It's fine. I'm fine. Just... After we've averted her execution, please be kind to Proxy. I can't do that anymore. I violated her too much. I can't expect forgiveness. These guys are dumb as bricks. Then there's nothing to worry about. Naji's worried for me. I can see that. But it doesn't matter. Even if Proxy's life weren't on the line, I doubt I could stop myself. Not just mother's words whisper in the back of my mind. The king's transformation. Must be nice to have this king's transformation to blame when clearly you're the one that's actually sexually, you know, active, Shinichi. I... I'm supposed to ask Naja about this. This is probably going to be a good ending. Maybe she knows something. Naja, have you ever heard of something called the King's Transformation? From your mother. Naja falls silent in thought. Did I say something bad? I better go. I want to do my job well. Otherwise, they'll kill Proxy. Yeah, thanks. I head towards the interrogation chamber. Are we gonna do more? Jesus Christ. This one is serious, but it also gets... I guess the H scene at the very least has some story tidbits in this one. Unlike the H scene in Saki's route, or the H scene where we were just fucking Naja non-stop. There are way fewer people here than there used to be. Looking around, there are only a few. Even fewer than show... Even fewer than... Than yesterday showed up, typo. I don't really think that's it, but... The Gorgonian Empire is a military nation. In terms of our world, I guess it's like the ancient city-state of Sparta. In a society where one's own mother would say, Come back riding a shield. In other words, die on the battlefield. Victories were more important than grudges. It's to satisfy us, Battle Geese. It isn't just to quite not just Mother's sour stomach, is it? For me? Do you know something? You don't have to answer if it's difficult for you. Shinichi is so dumb. God, if you pressured him at just a tiny bit, you know that he can't lie. Neither do I. The reason I'm tormenting Proxy is because I was told to. I guess not. Until now, I've been cooperating with the Head Inquisitor, but this time, it's all on me. That makes me a little nervous. If I screw anything up... I'll 
当にお役目を果たしております。If you say so, what is making me punish proxy supposed to accomplish? By losing part of myself, I'll gain something. Not just mother caught that the king's transformation. I don't have time to consider what that might mean. If Naja can work out what's happening to me, that would be ideal, but. No, it's nothing. I've just got a little more to think about. So, the show, so the show. Mukono Sekai Karayat, Mada Nano Kamo Kekas to Rima Senkarana. Kangai Kotonga Fuernoa, Shikatarima Sen. Yeah, I agree to get him off the topic. Right. This is supposed to be my power. Not just lying, but even self abasement and dodging questions contradict this world's taboo against saying things not in one's heart. With everyone walking around with their hearts in their sleeves, it's kind of amazing that this world is in all terrible violence and emotional conflict. Well. Proxy's naked, but I can censor her sprite. He hands me a heavy chain. On the other end, Proxy hangs her head. I'll be handling this from the beginning today. That's right. It isn't over. Sorry. I'll talk to them and do my best to make, to make this end quickly. That was a lie. I have no such intentions. If I do that, I'll lose my fun. Huh? Nah, it's nothing. What was that? Do I want to hurt Proxy? Why would I think a thing like that? Why would I think a thing like that? <laughs> I'm not doing this because I want to. It's nothing. It's okay. I'm fine. Of course I'm fine. After all, I'm about to humiliate Proxy. I've been looking forward to it. I feel my upper lip curl naturally upwards. Got it. Right. I have to shame Proxy. That's my duty. I pull, pull her along after me. Hey, come on, Proxy. I'm gonna show you some lovin' today. I don't answer. Yep, it's another H scene. Alright. It's not too bad yet, but I'm probably just gonna cut it for you guys on YouTube. She's just wearing the dress again, but I don't know what the hell he's gonna do. But yeah, patreon.com shows Zykiosuke. And you guys on YouTube, don't need to worry. I started not voice acting these scenes anymore anyway. Because these are just not my thing. So for people on YouTube, I will see you guys in a tiny bit. And we're back, YouTube. That was actually our very first scat 8 scene that actually have... Scat in the CG. <laughs> Not gonna say much more about the CG other than that. But if you guys are into that, Patreon.com is <laughs> IQS Gang. I personally don't really care too much about Scat in like uh, Arrow Gaze. In real life, of course, it would be a lot more disgusting, but in Arrow Gaze, it's not really as disgusting as what you'd see in like uh, real Scat porn. Man, back when I was like in middle school, my friend like told me about this super weird website and oh my god, it was definitely a nightmare inducing for middle age as I, <laughs> or sorry, middle school as I. But yeah, I don't like how this game is like making Shinichi do all this crazy stuff in these age scenes, but it feels like he has a, a way out. By just saying that the reason why he's like this is because of the king's transformation. I, I hate that. It really makes it so that he doesn't have any 
responsibility in what his actions are. I don't know. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I don't like it. I'd rather Shinichi has a more, like, violent personality that he's been repressing or something like that, you know? It's a lot more believable than this magic ho hocus pocus bullshit. Though then again, this whole game is based around myth mythical creatures, fantasy and whatnot, so it's par for the course. I guess I was just expecting a bit too much for a Nuki game. It's... It's something, though. I don't know. I, I just don't know how to feel about this game so far. As I said, it, it, ha it brings about good issues, but the execution and the resolution is just not, not that good. And I feel like this trend is going to continue up towards the true ending. So I'm going to try to lower my expectations by a lot so that I just don't get ex disappointed. The fact that this game brought about some clear issues is already good enough, I guess. So I'm not gonna put too much hype into what the true end is gonna be for myself. I've never really been hyping stuff up for people, but you know, it's really hard to not hype stuff up for yourself sometimes. But alright, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Give this video a like if you guys like it, sub if you guys haven't. Patreon will be getting these episodes early access along with everything uncensored. But yeah, if you guys are on YouTube but are not on Patreon just yet, do feel free to become a free member because that's going to be where I put first episode previews of future playthroughs. Let me save here. See you guys.